previously discussed the benefits of hiring internationally, but what about the things we should avoid when doing so? Hi, my name is Khatia and I've been sourcing talent for Nomad Capitalist for a while now and here we help 7 or 8 figure entrepreneurs and investors to go where they're treated best. Hiring internationally can be tricky and the rise of remote workers and Nomad's accelerated recruitment across the borders. It has many benefits but there are a couple of things to consider before you make a choice to expand your operations to another location. Common mistakes while hiring internationally include not understanding the cultural differences, choosing the wrong type of agreements, neglecting local uh, employment laws, and so on. If you're thinking to have an international team, firstly you should decide if you want to commit to one specific place or choose to have team members all across a specific region or an area. If you're going to choose the first option, like we did with Serbia, Georgia and Armenia with our physical offices, you're going to have team members with stronger bonds and you will simplify the training process for newcomers. But it also ties you a bit more to local labor laws. Uh, so that's the first common mistake, not understanding local labor laws before establishing an entity in the country. There might be different notice periods. It can be anywhere from two weeks to three months. Uh, some countries might have obligatory benefits such as health insurance, pension funds, 13th month salary uh, or fully paid maternity leave. Termination laws can also be different. Uh, many companies look at their employment platform based on the laws from their home country. Some countries may not allow a legal termination of an employee unless the employee has the cause. Georgia, Serbia, Armenia, all of them for instance follow the system. Cause itself uh, may be further defined by the country's laws. Uh, besides understanding what can be this cause, uh, specific termination procedures have also uh, to be followed. Uh, additionally, there may be rules regarding termination that depend on length of service uh, or employee salary. Uh, some other countries, for example Spain, may allow an employer to terminate um, an employee without a cause but um, require termination penalty payments. Of course, uh, all of those does not mean that you cannot terminate an employee for poor performance or um, economic reasons. Second common mistake is not perceiving the international team as a whole. While hiring overseas uh, is beneficial, it also sets a challenge to uh, create the same working conditions for everyone. Uh, by this, we mean providing benefits such as paid time off, um, health insurance, or career advancement and educational opportunities within the company. Talented employees know their worth, especially nowadays, and are normally uh, open to rapid movement between companies uh, as a quick way to salary growth if they do not feel valued enough. Uh, you should also consider what tools to use to bring the remote team members together and ensure smoother communication um, and information flow. Uh, right now, we're using an app called Workplace for posting weekly updates from each department, creating discussion boards, or um, creating online polls. None of those challenges are hard to deal with, but you would need someone knowledgeable to sort those things out for you. We should also consider different time zones. Uh, easiest way to overcome this problem is to have team leaders with experience of managing remotely. Uh, this team leader should preferably have experience with managing different nationalities and different workplace culture. For each department, uh, we found it beneficial to hire team members and management in uh, similar time zones, uh, normally no more than one or two hours difference, uh, which in turn ensured that working hours overlapped and communication delays were kept to a minimum. Cultural differences and workplace uh, practice can affect communication, efficiency, training and strategy uh, if there is not a clear mission statement and applicable core values. All of those things need to be heavily discussed during the recruitment process to ensure both uh, sides have the right expectations. After hearing those problems, you might need to know what can be the solution. I would say hiring a local recruiter that understands the talent pool better, culture, average wages in the specific countries, 
can be very beneficial. Uh, they will be able to firstly source the candidates better and then to be able to assess them better. Another solution can be a professional employer organization that can help uh, a business establish a presence in a new market without taking on all those responsibilities associated with being um, an employer. This is a company that is uh, the employer of record and hires the employee. Uh, the, this company will be responsible for the payment of wages, benefits, uh, administration, compliance matters. The employer can use this company to secure workers without having to tackle all the hassles associated with direct employment. This type of companies can also help to conduct market research and explain the local culture to businesses. So they focus their marketing efforts on the local audience. Uh, they can also assist with recruiting and hiring talent in that area. If you're using this type of services, you will need to worry about local labor laws, employment agreements, or complicated payroll processes at the end of the, each month. After watching this video, we hope you'll be able to avoid these common hiring mistakes. This is just one of the key things we do at our company that set us apart from others. If you're interested in finding out a bit more about the company or the services, please visit our website, nomadcapitalist.com. We would love to hear from you.